Hello and welcome to a different kind of long war. This is XCOM Co-op, where myself and Captain Mathbo are going to play a, well, cooperative XCOM campaign. He's already done the first mission, so it's up to me to play the second one. Uh, there is an abduction, so it looks like that's what I'll be playing straight away. I uh, just want to have a quick look at what we got here. So, yeah, we've got some specialists and blah, 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 blah. Okay, very good. We uh, unfortunately lost a soldier in the first one. Very sad. Uh, let's see any requests. Let's see what we're doing here. Uh, Seems like we've opened up a bit. Right, this is going to be one of the first things I think we want to build. Thermal generator. Not yet though. Uh, lab. I like a good early lab. So that's nice. That's good. Uh, let's have a look at our satellites. One in orbit. That seems fairly good, I suppose. Okay, we seem to be in the United States. Uh, yeah, I believe we're in the Cheyenne Mountain, aren't we? Yes. So, that's that. Uh, that's cheap to excavate. I'm gonna do that. Right. Let's uh, let's do a mission. Hundred. That'll actually give us what? Hundred and ninety. No, let us do something. Right. Let's see. What do we want to do here? I'd quite like to take. Well, that's a very good aimed heavy. Might be worth giving that to a rocketeer. Yep. We'll take a rocketeer and we'll take a scout. Everyone else will be rookies. Uh, yep, that's pretty good aim for a scout, so that scout will eventually still be useful. Right, let's just take everyone. A lot of people want to take laser targeters. Can't be having none of that. Right, we will take... We don't need an extra rocket for our guy, because... Well, there's not very many people on the map at, at this point. So one rocket should be enough, and the grenades will be more useful, I think. More useful than having our rocketeer hamstrung by being really, really slow. Uh, let's see. He does want to put some sleeves on, though. Uh, yep, everyone get your sleeves on. Don't take those laser sights, they're a crutch. We'll take one battle scanner. Uh, this guy can take a med kit. And now scout will take a shotgun. Let's see. What else do you want? Sleeves. And a smoke grenade. Because it's possible in these early missions that you can get bogged down a bit. And the last one is another frag grenade. Right, that looks like a team to me. Just check everyone's got assault rifles. No carbines on my missions. See, what do you want? Yep, here you go. That rocketeer, what have you got? Yep, very good. Right, that looks like a mission to me. Let's go. Not very far away either. What's that like? Texas? Dallas. There you go. Ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Right then. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. So. So yeah, it's um, it's gonna be an interesting one. This one, I think we're on brutal difficulty. I also believe it's Iron Man, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be two people pulling in opposite directions, trying to make the missions go the way, their way, I suppose. And in the base management, I guess we'll both be choosing different things to do. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, sectoids on the left. I heard something just over here, and there's Meld there. Oh, that's sad. Nobody can actually get to that corner yet. Right, we'll move forward then. Hopefully that'll hide us. We're gonna go for this meld early. So maybe if they walk into us, we'll get a nice overwatch on them. Let's see. Yeah, sectoids there, drones over there, I think. Sectoids just jumped through a thing there. I didn't check for meld because I know there's meld right here, but there's some sectoids that just jumped through this window here. Let's see. Is there meld somewhere else as well? Let's have a quick look. Is that meld there I see? Yep, there's meld there. Okay, I think we've got a plan then. We're going to go for this meld here and then we're going to come up the right side of this building. That's going to be our plan. Looks like we're going to reveal here. Uh, probably want to get my rocketeer ready, I would think. Time to get this ball rolling. Time to get this ball rolling. 
Sad thing is, I don't think it was really possible to get much closer without sacrificing Mel time. So what we'll do is we'll get everyone close, and then next turn we're going to dash across this and just kill them really quickly, provided that they don't leave too far. Right. Move there and hunker, I think. I just want to get everyone in a position where they can just jump out, throw grenades, do the work. And then we'll be all good. Actually, you can stand there. Right, hunker down. Let them have the initiative. The scout's going to be the first one out. I should have thrown a scanner there, because then I can use that information for the next turn. Yeah, it's a good, sometimes a good thing to do. The last turn, the last action of your turn is to a scanner, so that you get the benefit of knowing what you're going to do that turn and the next turn. So I presume what will happen is they'll move forward and take some shots or some psychic attacks, and then we'll go from there. Okay, they're both on Overwatch. Why do they have to stand there though? Now it's going to be a bit tricky to do this without destroying the meld. Can I get a? Oh, I can just get a flashbang on them both. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. Alright, so yeah, we're just going to move in, move people forward, try and get some some grenades on those two, just kill them quickly so we can get that meld. Meld is important. Reveal, if there is anything. Okay, that's a good start. What I am probably going to do is leave one alive, but I can, I can manage that. On the move. This one is actually, um, the meld is covering people from seeing him, actually. Which is okay. Uh, maybe I could still kill him, actually. Yeah, we can have more. This is aggression, let me tell you. Right. The Rocketeer is the one that concerns me. Because if he moves forward, he's likely to trigger. So we're going to have to do this without... Uh, let's see how do we want to do this. Well, this guy he can't he can't see anything else, so he's going to throw a grenade here. It was something I was making fun of um, of Captain on the last mission was uh, I just I use grenades like they're going out of fashion, and he he didn't use grenades, and I and I think uh, in certain circumstances where it could have been safer, but that's uh, that's all right. It's just a a choice. Right, what's the better chance? Because if I kill that one then I don't even need to kill this one because the, the link will kill him. So let's have a look. That's a good chance to kill. I'll take that one. That's a miss. Right, I think I will get another shot on with the Rocketeer if I move him over. Maybe? We'll see. Come on Rocketeer, save us a grenade. Oh, that's annoying. Right, oh well. Can he, can he kill this one if I need him to? Not without destroying the meld. Take this shot anyway. I don't like much else is going on. Now I have a difficult decision. There is a two thirds chance I'll kill this one which will kill both of them. Or I can kill this one which leaves this one free. But I already know that he's probably going to run. I'm inclined to take this chance here because Actually, let's have a look at defense. He's got minus two. He's got zero. Who's got? Who's gonna get shot at? Is my question. It's gonna be this guy, Kaldaren. He's got six health. She's got six health. Okay, I'm gonna take the chance. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, and now drones are showing up. But we got the meld though. Right, get the meld, guys. It's all about the meld. Okay, now how to deal with this situation. Now this one should be fairly easy to kill. This one's going to be a challenge, but maybe the the scout can do it for us. The scout doesn't have enough movement to do it for us. Let's see. Right, well, we'll, we'll who destroyed all this cover? That's what I want to know. Making life difficult. Right, I'm a bit worried about... No, the fire should be fine. I was a bit worried that the fire would destroy the cover, but I don't think it will. Right. 
we can kill this one without using a grenade, that's, that's a bonus. Or even just doing damage to it is a bonus. Right. This could be a situation for a rocket. Kind of want it steadied, but can't always get what you want. Maybe just go in here and throw a grenade. I think that might be the safest option. Okay, you can see that one. Let's have a look. That's going to hit them both. I'd like to hit them a little bit closer than that if I can. Let's see what someone else can do. You've got a grenade as well. That's not too much of a concern. <laughs> This is a concern because they can flank me. Actually, maybe the Rocketeer can get something out of that. If the Rocketeer moves and takes a shot, we'll see. But right now, uh, I could throw a smoke, actually. That probably seems quite sensible. Yeah, that probably does seem quite sensible. But either way, I need to get rid of these two right now. Uh, how am I going to do this? That's not going to kill that one there. This one might kill this one. That's actually a really good chance to hit that one. What about the other guy? Can you see? Okay, he should be the one to throw this grenade then. Because he can't see this one. And this one is the one that's a bit of a trouble. That does the job, I suppose. Right, now they can this guy actually. No, I think what we want to do is throw a smoke here. If I throw a smoke on these ones and then flank, uh, hunker him, this guy will move in and take shots, but at least they'll be in smoke. Although they won't be in smoke if this guy's not in the smoke as well. Okay, maybe if I move this guy here and throw a smoke. Maybe that's the way to do it. Yeah, that is the way to do it. Get everyone in the smoke. Get the rocketeer ready with the rockets to fire over there and get the scout to move forward. That destroyed a bit of cover, that smoke. Aye, aye. Actually, I'll, I'll take this shot, because that's a pretty good chance to hit. <laughs> right. Shot I need the scout to be stop being useful. If you can move, she can move to there, that's... Oh, that's one tar short. Oh, curse your stumpy legs. You just hunker them. He's gonna move forward and he's gonna do damage. Oh, he didn't, he didn't actually turn out to flank though. That's pretty good, that means that these guys can kill that guy pretty pretty easily. And hopefully that means my Rocketeer can get a rocket on this lot here. Because that, that's likely to make that blow up, and so if they're taking cover on that, that's, that's a good job. Thank you very much for avoiding that. You're gonna double dash here, are you? That's the power of smoke. Right. That's really far away though. Maybe I'd be better off doing something like this then. And if it scatters in one direction or another, at least I'd hit something. Right. Well, we'll think about that. But right now, I don't think that's a great rocket. Ah, this guy's in the smoke, isn't he? No, he's not actually. Okay. <laughs> if only I could get one more movement on this... Uh, on this scout, then you can trigger that overwatch. You can deal with that that thing. Right, well, we're going to take shots at this thing anyway. Take shots with the people who are first away, because they're more, least likely to get attacked from here. What concerns me is that this guy's going to move around here, so I'm probably going to have to either overwatch or use a grenade to kill this guy with the, uh, the Rocketeer. Unfortunately, the Rocketeer also has stumpy legs, so he's not going to move very far either. This one's going to move in and take another shot. That's not probably too much of a problem. Why can nobody see this drone that's just sitting right in front of you? That's not going to trigger Overwatch. On the move. Oh, couldn't you have done that at the start? Right, this guy's a problem though. He can move to there and, and flank. And he's not going to care about Overwatch, so I can't stop that from happening. So I think maybe if I dash to here, overwatch the Rocketeer so that this guy doesn't move and flank, 
and then I can move up with one of these to here and throw a grenade, but neither of them have grenades, so that's not really going to work, is it? Right. New plans. This this drone is the one that's causing me problems right now. I think that's likely to kill, but even if it does, well, likely to hit, but he still might not kill. I'm not worried about this guy. He's going to sit there and overwatch or take pot shots from miles away. That's not going to be a problem. I could throw just a normal grenade on this one. Can anybody else hit him with a grenade? Could the scout? The scout has a grenade. Okay, that's... Actually, that's what I'll do then. I'll do this and see how much damage we get. It's not going to kill, but if it does enough damage, then maybe that grenade will be the worthwhile investment. Perhaps. I actually think I could probably... Let's see. No. Okay, he's envisioning that. What I really wish I could have done there was move to there and do that, but... Sadly, I couldn't. That's not a bad chance to hit. You can, of course, throw a grenade as well. I can't ignore this one. So anyway, I'll take shots at this one. Maybe I'll get lucky. That is quite lucky. If either of these two could shoot at this one, I would, but they can't. I think the safest option here then is to throw this grenade here and hope that this kills. It worked for the scout, so why wouldn't it work for the rocketeer, eh? Let's just hope. Grenade. What I don't have now is anything ensuring me. Oh, did nothing. Ensuring me against this guy moving here and flanking. Which is scary. Especially now he's got crit. That's like a guaranteed crit. Taking far more shots from drones than I'd like right now. Here he comes with the flank. Oh dear. Alright, a bit of a crash there. Nothing too exciting. Um, <laughs> just have to replay the turn again, really. Uh, okay. This is this is why... Uh, I don't know. Longwall has been getting very crashy recently, and I don't think it's just me because uh, other people have discussed it as well. A lot of crashes going on. Right, um, so anyway, as I was talking about, this guy's a concern, and I am sick of this, this scout not being useful right now. So what do I want to do with that? Right, this guy has to overwatch. There's no choice with that, because otherwise, this one will move around one of these spots, and he will flank. So I have to stop him from doing that. The trouble is, if I'm going to do that, I have to kill these two drones because they're just going to trigger the overwatch and then that makes no sense anyway. So, how do I want to do this? Hmm. I could move to there and commit, kill this one with a grenade. Hopefully kill this one with a grenade and have these two guys move in and and we'll, we'll take positions against them with heavy cover here. I think that doesn't sound too bad. I need... I need my scout to do something first and trigger this overwatch. That's such a commitment though. But it is drones. They're not as dangerous. But I don't know if I've got the damage to deal with them. Maybe I should back off. Maybe that's what I should do. That probably does seem like the sensible option here. Yeah, I think that is the sensible option. Right, dash to there. You might trigger an overwatch, but we'll see. Nope, he's okay. Yeah, that, that's what we're going to have to do then. Right. Sometimes you just got to sound the retreat, I'm afraid. And now is one of those times. Could do an overwatch? No, I think we're okay. I could move to there and keep my turn, but it doesn't do anything. Right. So that's that. I'm going to move in here. Because that's quite a good position there. And there's no need to worry about this, so we'll, we'll back off and see what happens next. I expect this drone will move forward, but I don't think he can move far enough to flank. This 
this guy is the only one in vision of this drone at the minute. Where's this drone going? He's going on the roof. And he's going off the roof. That one's on the floor. Stay there, please. Stay on the floor. Thank you. Oh, he's in the, he's in the smoke, though. <laughs> that should run out, though. We'll have everyone take shots from miles away. That's not so bad. We can throw grenades over the top of this car. It actually... I made that plays on that turn before it crashed, and then just as I was about to make my last one is when it crashed, so I didn't actually see what the aliens would have done otherwise. So I'm going to say that's not safe scumming. Right. I think we're going to have everyone take shots at this guy, because he's, uh, he's a good target right now. Good shot. Okay, I want to move here. I don't think that'll do an overwatch. Take this shot. Oh, that's pathetic. I'm gonna need okay. more practice. Yeah, you are going to need more practice. That was terrible. What? <laughs> the scout? That's weird. The scout can see the guy on the roof here, but he can't see this guy here. What's going on there? Right. Well, whatever. You can overwatch. This guy's going to have to move, and this guy can take a shot at this guy. This drone. Come on, guys. These are good shots, and you just keep missing them. Come on, you don't get much chances to kill drones like this. Again, yet again, I should just take the shot with the guy who could do four damage. Why not? Right, now this one's going to flank me, so I have to move back here. I don't like it, because it's a very useless place to be. Might as well overwatch, I suppose, even though it's not going to do anything. So drawing them in and taking them, picking them off is a good strategy. Right, that's a good place for you to stand, because I can now move to this cover car, and then kill him with a shotgun. If he overwatches, that's brilliant. That, that means the scout can nullify two people. If you'd like to go on the ground, please, to make yourself easier to shoot at, I'd appreciate that. Or just get very close, that does that does a job too. They're moving to flank me. They're shifting their attack. Go on overwatch. Ah oh, no, he's gonna take shots. Hello, I'm gonna die over here. <laughs> Hello, I'm gonna die over here. I'm not sure how much that was Afrikaans there. Fire. Good job. Right, can you move to here and just kill these blokes? Right. I think I might have to use a rocket on this guy here in order to make this play. Luckily rockets don't don't actually care about suppression too much. Right. Well this one this guy's a problem. This drone's a problem if we can't kill him, so let's see what we can do first. Good start. I'm out of firepower over here. You're the next closest. Oh that's such a crap one. Nah, I don't want to mess around with this one. Right, well, we'll take shots because these guys can't do anything else, so Take a shot here and then move this guy here and take a shot. But if... Ah, you see? you just got to call the guy who can do 4 damage. That's, that's what you have to do. Right. What was I talking about? I was thinking about... Mm. Yeah, the, the scary thing is if I move here then I'm flanked by this one quite easily. Because moving to here is great. Kills this... Probably is going to kill it with like an 80% shot, I think. Um... And that'll do damage to him, and of course, if I need to, I can move around and throw grenades to finish him off. But it leaves a scout out in the open, so if possible, I'd like to kill that guy, or disable him somehow. Maybe the Rocketeer could just solve the problem for me and just throw a rocket right there. Right in the center. Even if it could scatter quite a lot, but... I've said this before, that the scatter doesn't matter because no matter where it scatters, it's not going to hurt me, but... <laughs> I don't want to say that anymore, because all sorts of bad things can happen. Okay, he's sort of facing the right direction-ish. No, that's just miles away. That's, I mean, what was that? That was terrible. Again, if only this... If only this scout could move just one extra tile. This would be brilliant. Maybe I just hold my position then. Get in the heavy cover. Move over here because it's... Where he is is useless. You stand there and hunker. You can reload because there's no point in, in overwatching a drone. It's not going to do anything. And you can hunker, maybe you'll draw them in a bit more. That rocket was pathetic.
if, if you ask me, the way that rockets work, they're too unreliable early on and they're too reliable late game. Need to flatten out that curve a little bit, I think. Alright, come on then, do your worst drone. Move one spot and do nothing. Move one spot and move back, okay. So you're just going to give me a free turn to take shots at you. That's nice. Right, okay, then we'll try this then. Take some shots in. You can do this all day, drone. No, we can't do this all day because we don't have any ammo. This guy can do it all day, though. Can't move there. To dash you. Yeah, I think I'm quite happy with our situation at the minute. Good to go. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Keep suppressing my rocketeer or keep attacking my rocketeer, that's fine, he's got plenty of health. I hear more sectoids actually, there's um there's still another another pod on this map. That is not my rocketeer, that's not what we agreed to, I'm afraid. What's this drone doing? Pretty much a lot of nothing again. Okay, that's interesting. That does mean that I can now do this though. I'm on it, Commander. Go on, have him. Splat. Love it. Okay, that guy's on one health. I could finish him with a, a grenade. I could just have him sit still and try and kill this drone on the left. Well, I don't want to do it from bad cover, so maybe I'll hunker the guys who are in heavy cover or in half cover. Tell me you can shoot him. Why can't you shoot him? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I don't need to hunker this guy because he's not in vision of this of this, of this guy being. Yeah, that works right. So I'm, I'll um, I'll overwatch this guy to stop him from moving and then my scout can flank him next turn. Although you probably want to get um, to go down so you don't get shot at. So he can't move and if he shoots he's not going to have any good targets so I feel I'm pretty safe about this guy right now. Yep, as expected he hunkered down. Moving. Have the scout finish the job. There we go. Right. There's another pod of sectoids by the sound of it. So let's get over everyone over here. Get ready to continue the assault. It looks like we lost that meld on the far side probably now. I'll have a quick look. Yep. Did we lose the meld? Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay. There could be some more on the far side, I didn't see, but. Or on the roof even. Nope. Nope. That's all the meld there is. We've got some of it though, which is nice. Heading to that location, ready to engage. Moving. Okay, it sounds like they're over at the back of the what is this? Barn grill. Yeah, I think they're over at the back over here. Could use the roof actually. That's probably the safest way to play. Yeah, we'll do that. Heading to that location. Because the roof you get on the roof just here. Need to move everyone and reload anyway, so and it's not like this meld. Right, come on back, scout. Yeah, right over there. Right, we can just go around here, get on the roof, jump down on them. Problem solved. And it's a good thing about this map, if you take the roof, is there's nowhere really on the map that you can't use the roof from. You'll always find somewhere that benefits you on the roof. Let's sprint round. I'm sprinting because I don't want them to move too far because they're in a good position for me to, to jump on. So, quite happy to be quite quick about this. Everyone dash for the roof. It's like um, in basic training. 
do your quick run to the ladder, go on the roof. That's not cover. I'm just doing this just in case they're on the roof, but uh, hopefully they won't be. I've noticed it seems like in most recent versions of Long War, it happens more often that they're on the roof, but still is quite rare. Oh, it is cover. Okay. Roger will call. Running. Do it, Backman. All right. So, doing a very, very slight SWAT style from the roof breach. Yeah, it looks like they're in that direction. That's quite handy. Got the little scanners out, like off of Alien. They're like they're coming at the goddamn walls, man. Come right beneath the walls. Well, the aliens are the ones who are going to say that in a second when we jump down on them. Alright then. I think we're almost in position. Maybe one more turn of setup. It sounds like they've moved to sort of here. Okay, how do I do this then? I want to make them take bad cover. So if I... If I put everyone just here... Especially want to make sure we have the, the shotgun over here. One of the rookies here, the and then what we do is okay. we reveal here. They take cover against him over here, and then all these guys flank. Problem solved. Textbook. It sounds like they are down here, so this guy's gonna force them to take cover close. Looks like they even went inside, maybe. Right, so he's gonna take cover here. There they are. They're going to be like, oh no, there he is. Hide. Not realizing that there's a bunch of guys on the roof who are going to murder him. Right. How do you want to do this? I believe there's a guy just sort of here, isn't there? Yeah, just sitting there. Okay, he should be the easiest one to deal with. These two, though. Might have to use grenades to deal with them. Oh, I just remembered you can't jump down off this bit because of the stupid canopy. Okay, well, there's other ways to solve this problem. First thing, though, I think that can't even jump off this bit because the guy's standing in the only spot you can jump down. That's actually not a dash. Okay, that's good. That means that guy can kill this one. We can surely do this with grenades. I'm just trying to think about a way of doing it where we can get the most bodies. But I think we are going to have to throw at least one grenade. Right, Rocketeer, get in position. Getting throw a grenade. You destroy the meld if you have to. I think he's still he still retained cover actually, don't you? With the meld. <laughs> oh, he had to kill that one, didn't he? Right. We already we'll put him there, just as sort of a marker. We know that one's a dead one. But just in case everything we try and hit this guy with misses, maybe I don't want to take that shot. So we'll leave that to last. There's a lot of good shots here. Some of these are gonna have to hit. There you go, there's one. Job done. Mission success. Mission accomplished. And it's back to base with no casualties. Excellent. Actually, I think one guy took some armor damage from a drone. That's it. Outstanding. Not only did our troops return safely, but the meld they recovered will certainly advance our development of new technologies based on this substance. Right. We will be in touch, Commander. Let's see that. Uh, we're gonna have to give somebody some names. We're gonna have to do that. That scout. That scout. Um, the defining characteristic of this scout is that she was never able to run far enough. She just always needed to go a little bit further. So we're gonna. What should we call her? Can you not delete last names? Right. Uh. What to call her? Right, well she... She did some good shotgun work. She's got good aim. I don't know, I'll think about that some more. Rocketeer. Or do I have to put my stamp, like make me as one of these uh, these soldiers and then we'll have Mathmo as another one. Maybe that's what we should do. Okay, 
I um I don't know, but I think I want to be a sniper. I think that's what I want to be. Sniper or or an infantry. I'll talk to Mathmo, see what he wants to be. But uh that Rocketeer is a good candidate for, for naming somebody because he's got incredibly good aim. He's gonna get some good shots, I think. Plus he's got a nice South African accent. Right. I don't think there's anything more I want to do really. Maybe just buy some stuff. No, there's nothing really to buy right now. I think I think we're gonna end up just saving our money, I'm to be quite honest. Right, I just want to actually check something. Fragments. Volume, I'm trying to tell people what I want to do here. There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Good. Right. Yeah, so I think I'll, we're going to need, I think it's 40 weapon fragments for beam weapons, which is quite painful. It's It's been really improved in the last, improved, well, nerfed in the most recent um, patch. So that's not going to happen really. I think the beam weapons rush is over now. The dream is over for beam weapons rush because you're just never going to have enough fragments to do it straight away. Uh, I think really want to build a steam vent, but can't afford it right now. And it's not worth selling anything to do it either because we don't need the extra power yet. Uh, we're going to need it next month though. So looking at the events list. Uh, the important things to do are make sure we build a steam vent before... Or like have a thermal generator finished by probably around about... I'd say around about the 5th of April. That's my thoughts. Have a steam vent ready by the 5th of April. That's what I'd like to do in this if we can. Because um, this is going to be a good spot here, you can just put three three uh, powers in a row, it's going to be quite nice. We can do our satellite uplinks here. Um, it's sad that that lab is in a spot that can't really get much adjacency, but you can move it or something, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, maybe we can do a lab, lab, and then gene something else, who knows. Uh, with Cheyenne Mountain you can do cheap excavations, so we can excavate this whole thing pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah. You got access lifts everywhere, so you can start dealing with how you want to build this thing quite early on. Other than that, maybe you want to buy an extra interceptor. I don't think you need to. Uh, Farmer de Jardin. Okay. Q-tip Murphy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not going to sell anything, but I think it probably is a priority to build that after the thermal generator. So yeah, I think the first thing we want to buy, save up for another 100 and, was it 160 to get a thermal generator, and then after that probably buy another aircraft. Somewhere in there you're going to fit scopes in, because the alien weaponry is going to fin finish. Uh, but we'll get we'll also get a council mission, so hopefully the council mission will pay for a scope, probably. Uh, yeah, that's that's my thoughts. I'll uh, see You'll be with uh, Mathmo for the next one, so see ya. <laughs>